<laughs> hey you guys what's up it's me lady t and you are tuned into am i on speaker and i am so excited to be here today do y'all realize this is episode five okay we have made it five episodes into this podcast that has only started literally just a few weeks ago i am so excited to have my work bestie here okay so you guys know i work um at a tv station in baltimore um and you know that, um, you know, I have my hand in a whole bunch of stuff, assignment editor, TV host, all these good things. But anyway, I love the people I work with, okay? I, there are some amazing people at our station, especially my work bestie, Miss Alexa Ashwell. Um, first of all, let me let me correct myself because I got to get the title correctly, okay? Oh. Emmy Award winning, okay? Investigative journalist. Okay, don't play with this girl, okay? Maryland's most wanted, the Baltimore baddie, Okay. The Alexa Aswell's in the building, y'all. Hey, Alexa. Oh, my gosh. I love you. Thank you. That's a great introduction. I know. it was. It's the least I can do. That was like the least of what I can do. That's true. Can do. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm doing well. You know, just got off work. We actually just recorded a Most Wanted segment today. So it's going to be airing tonight. Actually. Okay, come on, Meryl, let's both want it. Okay, that's what mm-hmm. we like to do. I love it. Okay, now, you are amazing. I have so many topics I want to touch with you. But first and foremost, honey child, we got to do, I usually do rapid fire questions. But for this today, since you suggested this game, and you know, I love a good little, you know, icebreaker game at the beginning of these segments. Um, I want to do this this or that with you game. Is okay. That- Yay. Okay. Let's do it. Answer as quickly as possible. It's the first one that comes to your head. The first thing that comes to mind when I tell you these things, okay? Okay. All right. I'll choose okay. this, this or that. Gonna, I might. Are yeah. these going to be embarrassing? Huh? <laughs> Some of these I'm, I'm are going to be embarrassing for you. Yes. They're going to okay. be embarrassing. All right. Maybe I won't make eye contact. I'll just stare down. Yeah. Um. <laughs> just blink twice if you need help. Anyway. Okay. Let's start this game. This is the this or that game, you guys. All right. So for all those who tuned in, I have Emmy Award winning Alexa Ashwell here with me okay we're gonna do this or that game all right uh, a boogie here we go <laughs> <laughs> sweet or salty salty wine or rum wine always okay if you said anything else i'd be like i don't know you <laughs> okay walk or run walk oh okay good okay good um i should like put- a nice stroll i was gonna say <laughs> I've only ever strolled down the street with you. <laughs> but I can run if I need to. Yeah, with wine in hand. Some of these people put together. With wine in hand, <laughs> you can stroll down the street. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, country or city? City. Diamond or pearls? Diamond. Always, baby. Okay. <laughs> Colorful or black? It depends, but we'll say black. Not Sorry, let's just answer quick. Not black. your men. We just... <laughs> Not your bed. <laughs> Keep it together, Alexa. Okay. Um, vanilla or chocolate? Okay, this could be your men too. Vanilla. Uh, vanilla. Vanilla? But I do like dark chocolate. I know I you do. do. <laughs> like if I, I was gonna get a milkshake, I, <laughs> I would get vanilla milkshake. But my favorite dark chocolate, that's a go-to with wine, red wine, perfect. Yeah, some of these are like compound, I feel like. We could put these together a little bit, right? Like some of these. Okay. Um, Casual or dressy? Dressy. Dressy. Yoga pants or jeans? Mm, uh, Jeans. I ain't never seen you in no dang jeans. Because I'm at work. (laughs) You have to come out more. Oh, don't start with me. Because I do. (laughs) When you have to come me, out more. When you pull me to with the horse you came in. Don't play with me. I do show up. Okay. This is why you don't have best you don't have restaurants on show. Because <laughs> they tell you business. This is why you do, you don't have the one here. <laughs> okay. Netflix or the movie theater? Netflix. Netflix and chill? I mean, I really okay. So movie theater, like your birthday movie theater? That's yeah, a that was a good time. movie theater. That was a good time. That was the I pick. It has to be like reclining seats for you, obviously. So I I would choose I pick over Netflix because they had the reclining chairs. I was comfortable. There were drinks. There was food. Mm-hmm. You thought it was they your birthday. They gave you blankets. You thought it was your birthday, but it was mine. I <laughs> yeah. know. I enjoyed it. Felt like my. <laughs> she was like, it felt like it was a good. It was really nice. Nice girls' night. It was nice girls' night. It I was nice. It. I had fun. That was fun. 
Yeah, that was fun for your birthday. We're gonna do it again. My birthday's always fun. <laughs> you know, you know we do. Okay. Um. Oh, flats or heels? I feel like I know the answer to this. Flats or heels, though. Heels. I knew you was gonna say heels. You little pageant queen, something. <laughs> always. You Not always super... have heels on. I do. You know, it's funny. We have our coworker Rebecca. You know, she's very tall. She's five eleven. <laughs> And she thought that I was the same height as her. I said, no, girl, I'm 5'6". Yeah. And she's like, I think it's because you're always in heels. She thought I was that tall. Mm -hmm. I'm taller than you. I'm like, five, No, you're not. You're 5'6 five, also. I'm Are you not 5'6, Alexa. I think I, you're 5'5". Five, five. No, don't you stop. Five, the five, devil is a liar. Five, you know I'm 5'8, five, 7, 5'7". No, seven. you're not. You know I am. With okay, the we're gonna have to. We're going to have to cut to a video clip. <laughs> where we measure each other's height because I know I'm a little bit taller than five six, so you're no more than five six. I am okay. I'm not gonna go back and forth with you because <laughs> we're never gonna agree on it, and I'm gonna fight you. So hold on. Let me. <laughs> Last two: lipstick or lip gloss? Gloss. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Okay, Facebook. I already know the answer to this. Facebook or Instagram? IG. I already know you're the IG queens. So I don't I even know the last time I posted it. It's actually, I did just post the, the Emmys on Facebook, but I rarely post on Facebook. That's where I'm friends with like my family and then my mom's friends. <laughs> <laughs> it was an amazing picture. Thank you. The Emmy, the dress, your dress and everything was magenta. You know, I just had that in the closet. I really did. Really? Because this is what I do. Anytime I have an event, I wait too long to pick a dress. So then I go online and I buy three because oh. I don't know if it's going to fit correctly. I don't know if I'm going to like it. So I buy three and then I fail to return the other two. And so I just have a stock of dresses in my house. This is what rich bitches do. This is what I'm not rich. <laughs> Who does that? We okay. used to say irresponsible. I but, one. I but... get three. <laughs> What? You don't think if you have a dress, you have an event, you get three. It's like mm. you because you need a backup, but then you're not sure which one is the one. And you don't know if it's going to exactly fit. Also depends on the store. Mm -hmm. If you're ordering from the store that you normally order from, that's a good sign. But mm -hmm. you never really know your sizes. So, yes, I normally right. buy three. So I had that one in the closet for a while. I, for, oh. I forget why I even originally bought it. Oh, wow. No, Yeah, no one does that. Yeah, nobody. nobody yes, they do. That. No, I they do Ask no, people. no, people who don't have money like us, like <laughs> us poor, <laughs> do not. No, do it'll be like, like a sale, like a buy one, get one, or like a 40% off dresses. That's how I got my Preakness dress. Oh, yeah. Are oh, we gonna talk about your fashion, uh, your fashion, your fashionista vibes that you always give? My yeah, feathers. About your outfits because you're out of control. But first of all, we had a whole game. Oh, sorry, we had a whole game. Okay, Wait, are you talking about what we just did. Yes, and we're not even finished. It was supposed to be okay. Early bird. This is supposed out. to be rapid. Why do you keep going into conversation with me? Let me tell you something. Okay, <laughs> you gonna behave yourself tonight. We're not doing this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, rapid. No more. How many do more do I? I feel like you need to make up more off the top of your head. I hate my friends. I <laughs> <laughs> I hate the people around me. I can't stand them. They never let me win. They don't let me do anything. Except have this podcast. <laughs> Alexa, okay, early bird or night owl? Night owl. Night owl. I can't get it's up. It's giving me indie streets. It's I just can't. I, I'm always, it takes me so long to fall asleep. I am definitely with mm -hmm. the moon. I am a it moon. It takes really long to get ready, too. So I I'm a moon walk. person. It does take me, because I enjoy getting ready. Like, for me, it's, like, part of the evening. Like, I like to... <laughs> That's why I have this big vanity mirror. I like to put on a candle. I like to put on some music and just the whole and have, have a glass of wine. Get there. You have to actually get to the place, Alexa. Like, I have more fun getting ready. Oh, God. And this is why we never make it to. A little glass of wine. But it's perfect because you come over and you also have a glass of wine. And it's like, it's a whole <laughs> I have adult pregame. <laughs> I have glasses of wine at your house. Okay, yes, because... We need to work on your speed. Okay. <laughs> okay. And enough about me. This is all about you. I'm sorry. I'm an interview by nature. I feel like, yeah, you definitely took over my podcast. I feel <laughs> like you put me on speaker and I don't like it. Um, so <laughs> we're gonna flip the tables now, Alexa, because you don't Okay, okay. 
Okay, now I'm going to put you on speaker and let's get to our topics of the day. I'm so excited. Okay, right. so let's talk about how we met. You know, we both work in, you know, in TV news, of course. Um, but <laughs> I wanted to talk to everybody about how we met, you know, working at Fox 45 and stuff. And <laughs> how my first impression of you was I thought you were like a bitch. I really thought you were. <laughs> I didn't know if we're allowed to say that on here. First of all. <laughs> I thought you were a jerk. I was like, <laughs> and we started on the same day. I don't know if Which, know. yes, we started, we started the on the same day. day. Mm -hmm. In 2017? We met in HR. <laughs> we did. <laughs> HR. <laughs> and I was like, oh, at first I was like, oh, she's nice. And then like, you just kept asking all these questions. And I was like, never mind. I was like, she's tough. Wait, what question was that? I wasn't. You were like, oh my gosh, you went on and on. Okay, well, what does this mean? Okay, well, wh what does this mean? Well, what clearly we need to ask questions because we both missed our insurance deadline. We, did. we, did <laughs> insurance. <laughs> we both had to go without insurance. We both, what did, what did, I ended up getting some crappy in health insurance because they did not I tell just us. lived off <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, Lord, this is a whole other <laughs> conversation. Okay, let's think of the good parts. The good part is that we both started the same day. I was an assignment editor. Alexa was a reporter. So she was just talking to me, being nice, asking me questions. And I'm just like, why are you I'm like, why are you even speaking to me? Like, I, I'm not, I'm not at your level. Like you're a reporter. I just felt like, why is she talking to me? What? It was an instant connection. It was meant to be. We were yeah. meant, we started at the same, mm -hmm. same day. Yeah. Same day. Went through the <laughs> HR process together. It was like God bringing us together to go through this journey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was and we didn't even know like how like similar we are in so many different <laughs> ways <laughs> so so many different ways except for okay red or white wine you are a white i can wine. drink both it depends it should depend on your meal yeah but oh it <laughs> wait really <laughs> yeah like you know uh white wines are known to go with like fish uh and uh, red wines with pasta and kind of I, I just usually go based off of whatever Thanks. my liver feels like. You know, like, hey, what are you feeling like? And you can, you can do that, too. You can buck the system. Yeah. It's like whatever I have a taste for. I'm just like, oh, you know, I don't want to be. Do I have things to do tomorrow? <laughs> I like <laughs> both. I really do like both. You like the sweeter, though. I know what you like. I you know like, I'm a Moscato drinker. I can tell people everything you would probably like or not like. I could probably order for you. Yeah, I know, unfortunately, yes. Like, you always know what I'm going to order food-wise. Um, you always, <laughs> we haven't even gotten to the part of you, of us being at that, oh, what is it? A restaurant opening at one that night and there, we couldn't even get no food. And you kept saying free, free food, free food. And then you started stuffing the food down my throat. Um, which, oh, which one? It. The, the James Joyce one? Yeah. No, the other one with the, the, was it Rose? What was the one where they had like oh. those people bending backwards and stuff? The little so that thing. was the one year anniversary of No Wave Rose in Federal Hill. Rose, yes. No, it's called No Wave Rose. No Wave Rose, got you. And it was like, there was supposed to be free food. We didn't get any free food. And so, like, you kept telling them, we missed it. Give us the food. And then you started, when it got there, you just started shoving it in my mouth. The food. No, what <laughs> we, um, well, it was really cool. Remember when we walked in, there was a man who was painting yes. the the crowd. So we made sure we stood. <laughs> <laughs> we stood where the bartender was always going towards. Like we, stood where, we had the perfect spot. So we had the, the artwork. So we were going to be in it. And we had the yeah, bartender. We were like, we wanted to be in the artwork. We also wanted the free drink. So we wanted the dancers. <laughs> yeah. And the lady was like doing the backwards thing with her body. She's never going to recover from that, probably. She was on the stilts. I always think those are so cool. Yeah. I just, I would love to learn how to do that one day, but I barely want to wear heels. So I don't know about yeah, that. Yeah. I don't think you can do stilts. Yeah. Probably. Not. <laughs> Wait, what were some of your favorite stories that you covered as a journalist? Oh, gosh. You know, I've been in the business for some years now. Right. You um, traveled around too. You went from like, I, yes. Where, where are some places you worked? So my first job was in West Virginia. Ooh. And I was not there long, but it was uh, it was definitely a culture shock because I hadn't been in that rural of an area before. I was in like the deep south 
of West Virginia where, um, and I was in my early twenties. So I didn't even know I was so ignorant. In fact, I didn't even know about coal miners. Oh, like it was a big coal mining industry. And that was the biggest story I've covered. Uh, I covered there was the uh, mine explosion. It, uh, oh yeah. I was going to say, I've only seen the movies and it's always somebody like in an explosion or something going wrong with the mine. Right. Yeah. 29 miners were killed. It was, it was so sad and they searched for them for like a week. Uh, but that was my, I was probably three months into my career. It was all the national people came down. I was very much in over my head, but that, that was the, how I started my career. It was like a big mine explosion, West Virginia. And I know. And then I went to um, Ohio. I worked in Ohio, Dayton, Ohio. Woo, go Flyers for three years. <laughs> Wait, Ohio? Oh, yeah. yeah I was in that. Ohio. Did, did you work in North Carolina, too? Yep. And then from Ohio, I went to Charlotte, North Carolina. I was there for several years. Okay. Yeah, you've been around, girl. You have really mm -hmm. been, Your career has really taken you to so many different places, so many different levels. You've done so much. And you're the first person I call, like, you are the FBI, because I definitely call you <laughs> to look into every single thing. If you're looking for somebody, Alexa can find them. That's basically I can find you him. You can find them. She's going to find them. She's going to be like, what's the first initial of their last name and the first name? Got you. Just we can him. find him because we don't want to waste our time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, you really do come in handy with all of that. So, okay, what was your favorite story that you covered? I don't know a, a favorite one. Mm -hmm. I mean, I cover a lot of crime, and so it's hard to call it my favorite, right? Because right. it's kind of, you know, mm -hmm. um, but I, I cover a lot of different murder trials. Um, and then, of course, we have Most Wanted. I don't know that I really have a favorite story. But you um, were on a like a crime show, right? Talking about like oh, yeah. stories. Yeah. So uh, this was really cool for me. This was last summer. Mm -hmm. uh, we recorded a segment or an episode for Fatal Attraction. It's on Oxygen. Yep, yeah. Yeah. That was a really cool experience. They flew in um, and had a whole setup. And basically we were interviewed about the case that I had covered. Which case was it? So this one was pretty crazy. You know, the panhandler case. Yes! I remember the panhandler that case. And we this worked is... together on that one. That was weird. That was the weirdest case. Because he was a murderer. We didn't even know it was him. So basically, to, I guess to summarize the story for the viewers, basically, I don't know if you guys remember the national recognition that the panhandler story got with the Good Samaritan, a, a woman who we thought was killed by a panhandler. Um, that's what her husband and the stepdaughter, it was a stepdaughter, right? Yes. The family didn't care for that term. Oh, okay. But oh, my bad. Okay. It was his daughter. Yeah. His adult daughter. It was his daughter. Right. So him and his daughter had said that the wife was killed by a panhandler. So, um, Alexa and I <laughs> were in Why contact are you laughing? with him. Texting him, calling him to find out when the when he was holding a media availability, a press conference, and you know um, what are the funeral arrangements, and we're finding out all this information because it was a national story and it was like a big deal and everybody was talking about it. And come to find, and Alexa was sitting on this man's couch interviewing him. Now, how did I get there, Tiffany? Okay, well, <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead, tell say. them. <sighs> God. Tell them. Tell, no, you can go ahead and say it. It's too much for me to say. <laughs> okay, so it is it is how the newsroom process works. We'll give mm -hmm. Tiffany we'll give Tiffany that. Uh, but the the murder had happened. Mm -hmm. The husband and his daughter said it was a panhandler, so it sparked all this outcry. Even Oprah was tweeting about it. She was. Mm hmm. And they had a community walk which the husband and daughter took part in, by the way. Yes, they did. But our news director at the time wanted more of a one-on-one -on -one feel. So he said, we want to send Alexa up there. Uh, we They lived in Aberdeen. Yeah. It was yeah. Hartford County, right? Yep. That's Hartford we, County. And I got the address for you. <laughs> so Tiffany got the address and sent me into a murderer's home. I feel so bad because I'm like, texting him like okay she's in route like she'll be there soon like you know like you know keep us posted and 
we were in contact with this man not knowing he was a murderer. And then come to find out, like Baltimore police said, not too long after, a few months later, they were like, hey, we're arresting him and the daughter. And we- Well, girl, uh, don't forget they found them near the border. They were making found a them, for it. They were trying to run. They <laughs> found them at the border. We, me and Alexa were like, oh my God, this is a major turn of events. It ended up being the husband and the daughter, daughter they charged with murder. That, the, he was convicted. I covered his trial. You sure did. And that was crazy. I was in his house. I sat on his. I talked to him for about an hour. Yes, you did. You did talk to him for an hour. Um, mm -hmm. and in a red coat, you were a meme. Coat. Did you not? You became a meme. I became a meme. I'm sorry, girl. I became a meme. And yes, an hour. He even gave me a hug oh. and even talked to me after that. He showed me their whole wedding album. It's. Oh, my goodness. You were sitting and you didn't know you were sitting there. No, I mean, obviously, like. I was a murderer at that point. Now. Right. As journalists, you always kind of have a, you're supposed to have a critical eye. Right. Uh, so I remember really, I kept repeating, trying to ask him to repeat exactly what happened because it seemed kind of too crazy yeah and i felt like i was like wait walk me through how they came up to the car again how the man <laughs> appeared and it, it everybody it kept seemed... asking him to reorder it's tell us the steps again go through the process with us again yeah right it was yeah. look for it online <laughs> <laughs> you can watch it look for it oh i'm sure God. it will get picked up by one of the wait that that's what i was doing but i'm sure it's going to be picked up by more yeah um, it's amazing. How, what advice do you have for other journalists? Because a lot of people like, you know, they're going to be in this field too. They're studying currently to be in this field and getting their degree in it. What advice do you have for other journalists, girl? Because you cover everything. Um, I would say crime-wise, you're solving things. The U.S. Marshals just honored you also. They gave you and uh, Casey Fair, shout out to her too, an mm -hmm. award. Mm -hmm. All right? Hey, Casey. That's yeah, for so, a most okay. wanted. So yeah, that was for Maryland's most wanted. So what advice do you have for other journalists, girl? I would say internships are key. Get in the newsroom because I obviously took all the classes in college for it, but I feel like I really didn't get a feel for what it really was until I got in the newsroom, mm -hmm. shadowed the anchors, shadowed the reporters, followed around the photographers, pr practice stand-ups of my own. I tried to write my own stories. You need an internship. Mm. And you no, know, the social media presence is very important. Build right. that up. TikTok is growing. Of course, there's Twitter, Instagram. Get on those platforms and start building an audience now. Yes, tell it, girl. Mm -hmm. um, so that that would be my advice. And then, of course, uh, as journalists, work on your your look. Um, it is part of it. You want to have a nice polished look uh, where you're wearing the right colors for you. Ladies know how to do their makeup, your hair. It is important um, in terms of your overall appearance and, and how you come across on air. Um, yeah. Marshalls was my best friend uh, back in the day because, you know, we don't get paid a lot off the bat. <laughs> yeah, so you got to be in those low budget, you know, so, budget yeah. there for it. Those were some years. Yeah, girl. It's it's been a while. Now, you how long have you been an actual reporter? Um so 15. Almost, um Did you like carry the two? What are you what are you doing? I'm trying to ask, <laughs> wait, um, 12 years. 12 years. Yeah. Sorry, I had to do that. <laughs> oh my God. The fact that you didn't even know you lost count after a while. After girl. 10, I just, yeah, 12 years. This is um, the only thing I've ever done. You know, I, I yeah. actually did a double major because I was scared that I wouldn't find a job. Uh, mm -hmm. So I my tell. first interview out of uh, college, well, I had two. Uh, they, oh. they were sales. One was a pharmaceutical sales rep. And, well, I probably would have, I know I would have made more money off the bat. Um, yeah. I think I would have been very bored. So I'm glad I didn't get that job. Thanks, uh -huh. Eli Lilly. <laughs> I said that with you. No, but it blessed you to the point where you are, where you are today. And, you know, one other thing that we definitely both share, we have in common is that we both lost a parent. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I know mine was three years ago this month, but you, yours was when you were a teenager, correct? You lost your dad. 
Yes. I lost my dad when I was a teenager. Uh, I was in college. I, j- I hadn't been in college long. Uh, mm-hmm. He passed away in August. So I was about to go back to uh, school for my second semester, my second year. Yeah. Um, I wow. know my dad was only 48 and the older I get, the young, the more I realize how young that is. Yes. Uh, right. Super young. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 48. Know. He died in his forties. Like that's, that's crazy to me, but it, it definitely, as you, you know, no, um, it, it shapes who you are that going through that, especially as a teenager, I think it definitely shaped my personality and put me on a, my certain path. Mm -hmm. Uh, that I'm on today it it um I don't know about you but it motivated me I wanted to really make something of Mm -hmm. myself because I felt like it was so unfair that my dad who had worked so hard multiple jobs I felt like he was just cut short and so I really wanted to to do something with my life so I decided I know you did and and you're making him proud every single day and that's like Yeah, you taught me a lot about grieving. I think when I was grieving my mom, because she died early also, like at a 58 years old from cancer. So I was like, when I was grieving, I know you you rushed up here like an hour to buoy. I got in the car and got that that truck. That's what you do. I think a lot, I think in Mm -hmm. if you've experienced loss and death, you kind of have a better idea of a lot of times people don't know what to do and know what to say. They don't want to do the wrong thing. And I get that it's, you know, you don't want to do the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. Um, But a lot of times it's just showing up. I I just showed up. You did. You did show up for me. A lot of people did, but you definitely showed up. What a care package. Cause I was not in a good place. I was, people don't know when you're grieving. I mean, I was like, I had not like did my hair in like over a week. Like I looked a hot mess and Alexa came, she pulled through um, after like my mom passed and she came through with like lashes and like, <laughs> if you remember that, it was like, it was a whole care package. You just to make with. you feel better. Cause you're, you just feel, you I know. did not feel pretty. I didn't feel like a person at that point. So like, mm-hmm. I don't know, you rushing through with that plus a bottle of wine, baby. It was, it was exactly now. Doctor remember, Lopez. you weren't even there when I, I was there. When you found me sitting at your table with your lovely yeah. family, my entire family had taken a hold and taken, like taken Alexa, like just taken, <laughs> <laughs> like me and Liam Neeson taken. Alexa came in the house apparently while I wasn't here, and literally just she's at the table with my family chilling. All my family's West Indian and Caribbean, so they were like, you know, they loved Alexa's hips. They was like. <laughs> They were so sweet. No, it, well, what cracked me up is now I know it was your dad. I hadn't met your dad at that point. Okay. I'd only met the ladies in your family. Yes. And he, I knocked on the door and he, he let me right in. He did. <laughs> he he let you right. We can't trust him. We can't trust this man. <laughs> Why would you just let, let Alexa Ashwell in our house? I don't understand. I mean, he was so sweet. I was like, hi, I am Tiffany's friend and coworker. <laughs> <laughs> I came in, I tried to introduce you. Everybody was like, she already met us. We already know who she is. Like, and they fed me. The food was amazing. They did. They did. They treated you like, like I was here. It was a lot of so food. much food. <laughs> it was so much food. It was a lot. I know. They, we definitely overdo it as West Indians. It's a mess. Um, we definitely <laughs> do. But I'm so glad because honestly, you really helped me through the grieving process because I really needed that. And it's really, it's really good to have somebody who has already been through it. Um, so that they can kind of guide you along as to becoming like getting back to yourself, but then also like death changes you. Like, I feel like I got a little more hardcore and I realized I said, now I know why Alexa is the way she is. Cause losing a parent, you get a little, a little hardcore, you know, with your, you gotta kind of buck up and get it together. Cause there's no safety net. Yes. It's gone. Yes. Mm-hmm. And it's you. And that's a terrifying feeling. Mm-hmm. Um, so it does, it does change you. Um, but I, I'm proud of you. I, I really am. You've done so much. You've got, I mean, listen, I, I know this is your show, but <laughs> is it? I don't even think so anymore. Clearly it's, well, you're on speaker, so you're fine. You're- I, I, I know this is your show, but you took yourself from just solely behind the desk mm-hmm. to 
on air to your own segment to hosting the show <laughs> doing this podcast i didn't forget about the popeye's chicken sandwich commercial <laughs> the glow right up, girl the glow up was real <laughs> i mean you did all that and i know your mom is so proud of you i mean oh Sydney, that's crazy people don't do that doesn't that doesn't yeah. normally happen that's just a it's a blessing i know you guided me along the way i really feel like I, I don't know. You know, there was days I wanted to give up, though. You remember those days I was crying to you, and I was like, I hate you. You were stuff. crying? <laughs> okay, was I crying or was I just mad? You know, it was... No, I'm joking because you're always crying. All right, listen. See, <laughs> listen we will stop this show because it's, it's a lot of information being shared that doesn't need to be shared. <laughs> but you're like that meme where it's like, are you going to cry? You're going to boss up? And it says, well, first like, of all, I'm going to do both. both. <laughs> I'm going to do both. <laughs> I'm going to cry first. Then I'm, I'm going to do both. That's you. That's your meme. That is me. That's actually, that is actually, that describes me in just one. Okay. I, stop it. We're not here to talk about me. <laughs> We're not here to talk about me. Okay. Let's talk, you know, um, what are some, some things that I, I really learned from you um, besides, you know, the grieving process and um, working in TV news. Honey child, the fashion, Alexa Ashwell, when she shows up, number one, when I first met you and used to be on air, it was the coats for me, baby. It was the <laughs> I coats. worked at night. It <laughs> was the coats, baby. She would be bundled up but looking fly as I don't know what. No snot coming down her nose, just amazing in the freezing cold, looking fabulous. And then you wore feathers to preakness just two months ago. Who are you? I like <laughs> to do things that might people might be a little bit scared to do well the yeah. coat i mean the coat first of all the coat collection that came from ohio because it's so cold up there <laughs> i never want to go back i'm sorry yeah, I love it. It <laughs> oh so you but brought I, that from the okay i was like yeah you know over your career you build up a wardrobe and i was in ohio now i didn't need them in north carolina but they didn't get worn you know it was warm yeah. there but it was cold so i had built up a nice coat collection so thank you that's how that that's how that started. And coats, it was the dresses, it was the it was in the body addy, but it was the, <laughs> it was the body addy, baby. But um, you just have your fashion sense is insane. If Aww. if any year, anywhere we go, the Met Gala, the Baltimore Met Gala, um, where else have you gone where you just look fantastic? Both preakness years, last year and this year. Um, you know, just any event, you just, you're not afraid to like go there with these outfits. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, this As past is, to... I wore, uh, a dress that had feathers. The, fe the whole top was feathers mm -hmm. and they were coming up and I'll, I'll have some videos. I don't know if you ever put anything like video. I don't know how this works, but anyway. <laughs> Listen, don't start <laughs> All right, I'm not there yet. Really? I had to go with the feathers as soon. That was one of the situations where I was looking for. I was looking for a dress for Calvin mm -hmm. Jr.'s Aspire Gala. I went to that in April, okay. um, where Derek Jeter was a guest. It was here, right here in Baltimore, and it's a fundraiser for Calvin uh, Jr.'s Foundation, or I'm sorry, Calvin Senior Foundation. It's oh yeah, children. Okay. Right. So I needed a dress for that, and they were having this sale, and it was buy one get one. A half off and so i'm like well i'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of this and i saw that feather dress and i said that is my preakness dress oh my goodness and i bought that yeah i think i bought it in like february so you just buy you just rake up on your clothes like months ahead of time and just you whip it out when it's the time Plan okay, ahead. okay this analogy is bad wait wait, wait. I, mean, <laughs> it's like, wait, wait, wait. Said, I don't have anything to whip out i, was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it i do so you just store up on your outfits, your dresses, and then you're just like, boom, like, I'll just, oh, I gotta stop getting my stuff last minute then, because I feel like that's what I've been doing. Well, that, but that's what I do do, but that's what puts me in the predicament of, I, I was last minute, so I had to buy multiple dresses, because if the one I got doesn't work, mm -hmm. then I don't have enough time to get another one and have it shipped. Do you so actually I, send the ones back that you don't like, do you, or don't want, do you actually send them back, Alexa? No, girl, I said that you rewind this thing like 15 minutes i said I, I don't that's why i have so many here so you don't send them back at all did you say rewind let me tell you something you got one more time to do my show you got one more time to tell me 
what to do with my show next time coming over there. Um, so you really, you don't even send them back? No, I, well, I, no, I don't, I don't, I don't have the, don't have the have time or the energy. Oh, no. <laughs> and can I, I'll be honest, mm -hmm. I have a slight story. The one time I tried to return um, some clothes, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what happened, but I took it to the post office and it never made it back to the store. It never made it? They robbed you. Someone robbed you. I know. That's what I was Someone thinking. got some free dresses and they're like courtesy of oh, like but dresses. I don't know. <laughs> I just like don't, I don't have the energy. I always forget to do it. And I just know that there'll be an event for me to wear it another time. So that's what happened with the Emmy dress. Magenta, I'd had it in my closet. Uh, yeah. Okay. Are you a sequin girl or do you prefer laid? Like just a little it's, smooth dress. Um, it depends on the occasion. So that magenta mm -hmm. one was sequin, and I don't usually have many sequin dresses. I think I had gotten that one potentially for the Christmas gala down in DC. Zinzi. Oh, yeah. I I think that's now that I think about it. Oh, I'm sorry, you hear a little with... baby crying. That's my little cousin Ari. Um, shout out to Ari. Ari, Ari. Where are you? I love you, but please be quiet. Like. <laughs> little four-year-old girl come on sis i got one shot at this it's my hopes and dreams here <laughs> ari wants to make her debut ari wants to make her debut and i'm tired of her um but yes okay so where do you get your fashion sense from i don't know i just okay. have always i've always like been into it and so just being on social media i'll look at different trends like sometimes even now, like I'll get on TikTok, I bought a pair of like, and it doesn't, the color doesn't sound good. The name Acid Green doesn't sound good, yeah. but I bought, but it's yeah. a really like unique like green pump like heel, and so I'll just be like, oh, styling a green. I'll just like look stuff up, and I'll look at different like fashions and trends and what's in style, and then I just kind of add my own little flair so to it acid green so it doesn't look like vomit is what you're saying it doesn't no i'm like just saying that's an example of like what how i'll like work to like style my, oh. okay. my I'm confused. that's like okay got you and it takes you three hours to get ready so it matches yeah i so like it get ready. i can get ready fast especially if my hair is already done it's really the hair that takes a long time Oh, Lord Jesus, I can't even that is the hair that's what, what takes a long time and you know Tiffany I know you don't probably don't want me on here talking about astrology, um, but you really to, are an astrologist. She really you're supposed to dress like your time. Venus sign. Oh, God. You're supposed to dress like your Venus sign. I know you don't know yours, but do you want to know? Yeah, mine? I don't know my Venus sign. Like, what is that stuff? I try to talk to you about it, and obviously, you're not listening. Okay, no, well, no, because you tried. You gave me numbers to add up, and I don't. Do no, that's your life path out here okay we, that's your life path number we were talking about that yesterday your life oh, path. Did. we found out but we found out the life path number i'm an eight right yes you're, you're a life five. path eight a, a life path number apparently you're supposed to add up for those who don't know alexa told me yesterday for your life path number you're supposed to add up all the numbers in your birthday right correct including the year yes so you're october 16th so one plus zero plus one plus six, and then the whole year that you're born. And then you okay. keep adding it till you get to a single digit, unless it's an 11 or a 33. Those are master numbers. This is why I did journalism, girl, because I'm not- Actually, with the lifetime? No, I'm sorry. I may have been wrong with the 33. I feel like the life path numbers. And then this is what I go through every day, y'all. Every day. No, 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 no. That, I am right. I'm second guessing about astrology right. and Yeah, I'm second guessing myself. <laughs> that is right. Unless it's an eleven or thirty-three, those are master numbers. Twenty two is also one. Yes. Those so are your life has numbers. eight. They're also prime numbers. Thank you very much. Eight is They're the number numbers. of money <laughs> and karma. So you have to live a good life or else that karma will come in. Right. Oh, that's scary. Because I'm eight. Life path eight. I'm a 10, baby. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'm a 10, baby. <laughs> okay. Um, last but not least, um, you're also an actress. Hey, I've, I've dabbled. You, I've dabbled in it, baby. I like it I'd like to that. do it more. <laughs> you were in a movie. It's on, like, what is it on? Tubi? Tubi and IMDb. Hey, go, yep. girl. What's the name of the movie that you were in? 
probable cause. Mm-hmm. And you gave was, you were giving Marilyn's most wanted in it too. I was, I was. Okay, so I'll tell you this story real quick. So it was uh, it's Baltimore based, directed mm-hmm. by a man here, a director here in Baltimore, and I believe the majority of the actors and actresses from Baltimore City. It was really neat to be part of. Aww. I was out one night and I was approached by the main actor and I think another member of management. I'm not too clear on that. And they asked me if I ever done any acting. I thought it was a joke um, or, or I'm like, Oh man, this guy's just hitting on me, but they were serious. And um, <laughs> I ended up getting a role and I was the, um, it's basically about this uh, corrupt politician who's actually like the drug Lord and running the city. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was his wife. And Alexa came out like a boss and said, didn't I say to handle it? What is, what's the line you used? She was, was so she was, uh, what was her name again? I don't remember my character. What was her character uh, name? Tammy, Tammy, Tammy Taylor. Tammy Taylor. Maybe it was Tammy Taylor. Tammy was meaner than Alexa. <laughs> yeah. It, it was giving that. It seemed she like. She was all business. She was all about the money. Mm-hmm. And the profits and she did not care. So yeah. I had Every to time you popped up on the screen, you had an amazing dress on, but then you also were like, didn't I tell you handle this? Like no slip ups. We don't slip mm-hmm. up like this. <laughs> yeah, she was she was serious. It was really neat experience. I loved it. Mm-hmm. You know, I wasn't sure how I would do because I've never done it before. But the director had a very good point. He said you've been in TV a lot of times most of the battle is people being like not used to cameras and lights and people just standing around and staring at them. And Mm -hmm. you know, that, that is a lot to get used to. I hadn't even really thought of that. So I had met my co-star before and we, you know, got some food, just got to know one another just so you feel a little bit more comfortable. And Mm -hmm. I had a blast. I really did. So yeah, it's on, it's online. Probable cause. Probable cause. Oh, I gotta turn my camera. Sorry. <laughs> there she is. I'm a mess. I know. I'm sorry. I was like, I was trying to turn my camera. <laughs> sorry. You know what happened. You know how it happens. Technical difficulties happen sometimes. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. So you actress. Uh. Probable cause. Go watch it on Tubi. Um. Also, Alexa, I need you to plug all your social media handles because everybody is going to want to follow you, of course, after this and find out more about you and all about what you do and follow you also because you're a baddie and they probably want to see the body yaddy yaddy at that point in time. So how do they keep up with you, boo? <laughs> so, of course, I have Instagram. It's at mm-hmm. Alexa underscore Ashwell. Mm-hmm. Twitter is the same thing. Everything's my name, Alexa Ashwell. Okay, a Ashwell, right? It's- <laughs> a, 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 that's the email address, but that's the email. That's everybody's. First that's the email address. at Alexa Ashwell. The blank. Oh. Okay, well, you're one of my favorite people. Oh, same. Um, so, what model do you live by? Like, what model do you live by? What advice can you give to other people? What message of love and empowerment can you give to people? Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm. So each day I try to do or focus on something that's good for my health, mm-hmm. my body, my mind, my spirit. I think that's a a good like way to kind of live and approach mm-hmm. your days to make sure that you stay balanced. Um, whether that's like time with your family, your friends, working out, prioritizing meditation, going to church, striving uh, with a new goal, always have something to look forward to and just keep that life balance, I would say. I love that. And you do a good job of keeping everything balanced. I'm so glad. I try. (laughs) Thank you. I'm so proud of you, boo. And my boo won her second Emmy. She won her second Emmy. I'm so happy. I'm so proud of you, girl. You deserve every bit of it. Thank you. Congrats. Congrats on everything. And thank you. I know I put you on speaker for quite a long time, but thank you so much for just the insight, you know, and just your friendship and just 
you just taking the time to do this. It's nothing like having people around you to empower you, especially in your inner circle. So you mean the world to me, but I feel like you already know that. We talk to each other like almost every day. So you already know how I feel about you. I love you very much. Thank you for everything. And for my other little speakers out there, um, keep watching, keep listening to Am I On Speaker. We are now on Spotify. We're on YouTube. We're on Amazon um, Podcasts. We're on Apple Podcasts. I'm on iHeartRadio now. I know, Ooh. right? We in here. We in here. We Ooh. out here. Hey. Get out. <laughs> so, yeah. I know. We're making it worldwide, baby. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. You were on speaker. And Alexa Ashwell, baby. Thank you, girl. Love you. Till next time, my love. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What does it say? And, and recording? Does it say pause?